Hello everyone, today I'm talking about the dynamic partitioning placement algorithm. It is an operating system design which free block to allocate to a process. There are three algorithms. The first one is best fit, the second one is first fit, and the last one is the worst fit. But today we're just talking about the worst fit. And it can memory from the location of the last place. And it's a locate process the give the biggest balance of the variable, variable free portion. The portion leaf will be big enough to be useful and it is the reverse of the best fit. Okay, and uh, its advantage is it can reduce the rate of the production for the small gaps. And the disadvantage is when the process requiring the large memory arrive at a later stage, then it cannot be accommodated as the largest host is already split and occupied. And this all is my understanding about the wolf's feet. So thank you all. Hello guys, my name is Raymond. Today I'm gonna teach you guys the memory management. The type is worth feed. Okay, the question example given is like this. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hole and one, two, three, four, five users memory. We gonna insert five process into this table is into the hole using the type of worst fit so first we gonna redraw the table after we redraw the table the table will be like this the hole bit the hole between the stick together hole can combine and become one hole so after combine all there is h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 this is the whole memory the free memory space so after we do redraw the key table we're gonna insert the process one which is the 18 kilobyte into the largest memory why in why we insert into the largest free memory because we're using the type of worst fit so we're gonna insert this into hole 2 so after we insert it will become like this this is the process status and the process time the, the process size using by the P1 so after we calculate so we calculate the remain memory space that was 62 kilobyte after we insert P1 we gonna insert P2 that was the 40 kilobyte and we choose from the free space we, and we choose the largest one which is hole 2 so now after we insert the P2 the diagram will be like this so 88 kilobyte until 128 kilobyte it was the process of P2 after we in insert the process we calculate the remain space so the remain, the remain space will be 22 kilobyte now we're gonna insert process 3 which is 15 kilobyte into this because it is the largest memory so we insert p3 into h1 so 0 kilobyte until 15 kilobyte is was a process of p3 the p3 so the remain space of h1 become 35 kilobyte so after we insert p3 we start to insert p4 which is 20 kilobyte we choose the largest memory here is the whole number 5 so we insert p4 into h5 so the table will be like this after we insert same calculate the remain space 20 kilobyte left 
after we insert p4 now we're gonna insert p5 p5 is which is the la the size of kilobyte is 35 so we pick the largest page the 35 so after we insert the p5 become it will become like this there is no memory in there is no, no remain memory left in hole 1 so after we do like this we show the table which is hole 1 2 3 4 5 and the available space now so after do like this the question is done the answer also done so thank you guys for watching my video